What is going on guys? Marcus here, back with another video. Now this is gonna be an awesome video about my Veloster. I know everybody's gonna be excited to see it. We're gonna do one of the classic top five things I like about my Veloster. Top five things I love about my Veloster. We're gonna go over, since I've been driving this thing for two, three months now, I, you know, I've got a good hang of it. I love it. So let's just, uh, let's start with number one. So without a doubt, my number one favorite thing about this car is the looks. I, I, every time I look at it, I think that is a beautiful car. Look at this thing. You know, I had the, the first generation as well. It looked good, but this thing is just beautiful. Every time I walk up to my car, I'm thinking that is a beautiful car. That is definitely the number one thing I like about it. So a couple changes they made. So as you can see the back here, this on the first generation Veloster, it was empty, right? And then they decided to throw some lights in there, throw some lights in there and just clear out the back like that. And this thing, it looks so much better than the first generation with the exhaust as well, the pipes, shiny silver. Nothing beats the back of this car. Now we get to the side. So this is the driver's side with one door. They also took away a bit of the wide body. So on the first generation, this kind of goes out a bit more. And this time they kind of cut a hole through that. You can see how they grooved it, right? That also makes it look a lot more sleek than the last one. Now we get to the front of the car. So with my gray slash black car with the red at the bottom, looks beautiful. It's got the full grill, the lights look amazing, and it's just a smooth, beautiful car. So that is the number one thing for sure that I love about this car. Number two. So they made the interior of this car look so good. It looks like a premium race car with the red stitching, the red stripes, you know, they added red everywhere as you can see, right? Red on the steering wheel, red on the shifter. This car looks beautiful every time you step inside and it feels so much more premium compared to the first one. I know I'm comparing a lot to the first one because I, I had the first one for a bit, but this one, it feels so much more premium than the first one. And the interior is just something that I really love about this car. As you can see, there's a button for everything. You know, there's no randomly looking around for things that you can't find. Buttons for everything. And here we got a wireless charger as well as the, as well as the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We got the shifter with the sport mode, traction control, heating, and heated steering wheel on that side as well. We got the big screen. I don't remember exactly what size it is, but it's beautiful big screen. It works perfectly and I use Android Auto all the time on it. And the third thing I love about this car is kind of in two different sections, but it's all the same. It's the sound. Now I'm talking about the sound system on the inside, and I'm also talking about these right here. I'm gonna leave my camera here, rev the engine a little bit. And the sound system in this car. So I myself am not a super audiophile. My dad, on the other hand, is. I can tell the difference between a bad and a good sound system, but I can't tell the difference between a good and a great sound system, but my dad can. And he said this car is the best sound he's ever heard in a car before. All right, you got the infinity speakers. The bass on this thing shakes the car. It feels amazing, but it's so clear as well. It doesn't distort. The sound system on this car is something that really makes the ride that much more enjoyable. All right, before I spoil you guys with four and five, Gonna go home, see the puppy, and then I'll give it to you right away. Stay tuned, don't leave. So on my way home, I saw my mom and my dad walking my dog. I'm gonna pull out the drone, go surprise them. Let's see how it goes. Another thing I quickly wanna mention is the size of this trunk. Now it's a small car, but the trunk is a lot bigger than you think it would be. Also, you can put the two back seats down and then you have a ton of space. I've never had a problem fitting things in this car. Ah! <laughs> Number four is the engine. So when I say the engine, I just mean how it is to drive it. I don't, I'm not a car guy. I don't know what's inside the engine. I'm saying how it feels when I drive it. See, I've driven my dad's Xterra, right? Big blue SUV. It's also standard. But when you drive that thing, you rev it up to 3,000 or 4,000, the thing is like shaking. It feels like it's gonna explode. It's not meant for that. I can drive this thing at 5,000 RPM and it, it just feels like normal. Obviously it's going a bit more, but it doesn't feel like the car is gonna explode. It feels smooth. 
In addition to that, the clutch is super light. It just feels really good for a sports car and it just makes the car fun to drive. Since I can't really drive fast, fast, I really like to just, you know, hit the acceleration really hard, you know, when the light turns green. This makes every car ride fun. You know, I can turn, I guess it's not really engine, but you know, I make hard turns and I hit the gas. So I guess it's not so much the engine, it's just the feel of driving it. it it's really fun, it's really smooth, and it's another reason why I really love this car. And point number five, it's kind of an unconventional point. It's not about something about the car. It's just like the Veloster experience itself. It's a really good intro car into becoming a car person. Before this car, I didn't care about cars. You know, I just wanted to have a car that, that you know, was recognizable. And you can see me driving down the street and say, hey, I know who that guy is. But then that car got crashed, right? My orange Veloster. And now I have this one. And now I'm actually starting to pay attention to cars. I'm starting to pay attention to engines and what stuff means. It has really entered me into the world of cars. It's not a super crazy sports car, right? It's not something that you look at the car and you think, oh my God, that guy is like, his life is about cars. No, you look at the car and you think, that's a nice car. And that's what encourages me to learn more about cars. It's, it's a step forward in the world of becoming a car guy. So if you get the Veloster, it's a very, very good intro car into the world of cars. And it's one of the reasons why I like it. Also, Quick message from my future sponsor. They're not sponsoring me yet, but they will. This was my gym outfit for the day. You got the enhanced tank with the jogger shorts. Felt amazing at the gym. You know, it's the really good quality clothes and I will get that sponsor one day. So one day you're gonna see a discount code and it's gonna be right there. I'm gonna get that code. And that's gonna be a wrap for this video. So I think I'm gonna try out the outro of I'm hopping off. See you guys because that's, you know, it's it's a classic in the world of Marcus. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm hopping off. See ya. No, that didn't work.